Horses and this heat and these record setting temperatures, many of you called us asking about the safety of horses pulling carriages downtown. For the fourth day in a row, the city ordered the animals off the streets. News 2's Rebecca Collette finds out the rules for when horses are taken back to the stable in this Call Collette report. The familiar sight and sound of horses pulling carriages is a throwback to history. It also makes a lot of people uncomfortable to see horses working in this heat. They're large working animals. They were bred to pull, to carry heavy loads. Equine veterinarian Justin Miller says the horses you see pulling carriages are bred to handle the heat and the load. Belgians, which are the, the blonde looking horses, uh, Percherons, which are the black ones, and then the draft mules. Those are the, those are the three uh, most represented uh, horse types or breeds that are downtown right now, and that's just because they do well with the climate. But there is a heat threshold. The city's director of livability and tourism, Dan Riccio, says the horses are pulled off the street when it's too hot. Starting at 95 degrees or 110 with the heat index, Riccio's team starts a series of readings. Four readings of that temperature and then we call the horses. The carriage companies are required to check horses' body temperatures and even cooler weather. When the ambient temperature reaches 85 degrees, then after each tour, the animal needs to be checked internal temperature. Dr. Miller says the precaution is important to the health of animals, and so is their work. These horses are doing something that they enjoy doing, that they're bred to do, that they're good at, and, and they're not being pushed. But there are still critics who say the horses shouldn't be pulling those carriages, citing both public safety concerns like when horses break free and also saying the loads are just too big. Rebecca Collette, Count on Two.